Well, that is the very same question I had for council members, and the truth is no one knows, not even the migrants themselves. I mean, take a look. Quality Inn is right behind me, and some of them staying there say that some of them can't even get into their room. So the situation is only getting tougher, especially for some with children. Now, they say those who do have cars will be staying in them tonight, but, you know, what about those with children? They say that going to the camp is a hard no for them. This is not a choice, as they describe some of the living conditions there as deplorable and inhumane. From the outside looking in, they're just children playing and laughing until you see the message written across this piece of paper a little girl is carrying saying, invest in people. This is a tragedy. Full families, other single women and children and men marched into City Hall pleading for help. No queremos ser una carga para ustedes, como antes. These migrants seeking asylum, the majority of them from Venezuela, say things haven't been easy. Deja mi familia por un futuro mejor para ellos, como tanto para mí y mi hijo. 22-year-old Jose Miguel says he fled his country with his three-year-old son and his 19-year-old partner, leaving behind his parents in search of a better future for them and his new family. He's one of the dozens here who recounts a trek through Panama, Guatemala, and Mexico to get to the U.S. Maigualida Alvarez says her journey into the U.S. took two months. She says it was emotionally and physically painful as she crossed rivers and forests, witnessing rapes, theft, and death. In tears, the 47-year-old says it was all worth it when she arrived in Seattle on December 15th and was reunited with her daughters and grandchildren after eight months. Both migrants ended up at the encampment at this church in Tequila. Fortunately, they say an organization helped several dozen families. They rented rooms at the Quality Inn in Kent, giving them more privacy and warmth as they move them away from tents. The roof over their heads is now at risk, as migrants say they were told the motel had been paid for in at least 15 days. With nowhere to go, they turned to Seattle City Council. They pleaded for emergency funding to extend their stay at the Quality Inn while their immigration status is reviewed and can work to provide for their families. These families say it's difficult to return to the encampment. Jose Miguel alleges a woman delivered her baby at the camp. The area was infested with rats and withering the elements was very tough, especially for children. This is clearly a crisis for this refugee community, but it is a crisis that has been longstanding in the state of Washington, uh, and we have to get serious about addressing the housing issue. Right now, migrants are waiting to find out if the mayor's office, county, and state officials will be able to step in and help cover the balance that's owed, as well as extending their stay. Of course, Fox 13 will stay on top of this and bring you the very latest developments. In Kent, Alejandro Guzman, Fox 13 News.